Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing another important lecture in palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction. Now in this lecture we are discussing about a Kumda cross coupling. Okay, so here the Kumda cross coupling reaction will give the new CC single bond formation in presence of a palladium as well as a nickel catalyst. Nickel as a catalyst. Now let us discuss the basic definition of a Kumda cross coupling reaction. Palladium. or nickel catalyzed nickel catalyzed cross coupling reaction or organic hala organo halides or triplets with a organo magnesium reagents organo magnesium reagents simply it is Grignard reagents Grignard reagents it is called Kumda cross coupling reaction Kumda cross coupling reaction so this is the basic definition so palladium or nickel catalyzed cross coupling of organo halo or triplets with organo magnesium uh, reagents then it is called Kumda cross coupling now here organo halo compounds every type of organo halo compounds cannot use this reaction so due to the like a uh, presence of Grignard reagent it is protected some of the functional groups so now let us discuss the simplest uh, representation of a uh, Kumda cross coupling here it is the alkyl halides or not only alkyl halides, organ halides or triplets, so which are treated with a Grignard reagent in presence of palladium or nickel. Okay, not both combination. So either palladium or nickel. So now it gives the R to R dash a new CC single bond, new CC single bond formation product. So this is the simplest reaction of a Kumda cross coupling reaction. Kumda cross coupling reaction. So here it is the Grignard reagent. Here it is the organohalo compounds. Okay. Now here the uh, like uh, nature of organohalo compounds it gives main, main, mainly like uh, aryl compounds, vinyl compounds, aryl halides, vinyl halides more reactive in case of cross coupling reactions. Aryl, vinyl, uh, like uh, aryl compounds, such type of compounds. So now here Grignard also will gives the like uh, aryl compounds vinyl compounds such type of uh, like a uh, more reactive species can only give these type of reaction okay now however the drawbacks of uh, Kumda cross coupling reaction so Grignard reagent here the presence of any type of like a uh, uh, Grignard tolerable functional groups uh, here the Grignard affected functional groups uh, uh, type of substrates not used in the Kumda cross coupling reaction why because Grignard may be affected on the functional group so if here the alkyl halide, halide having the carbonyl compound our Grignard reagent directly attack over the carbonyl compound instead of a cross coupling reaction okay such type of limitations are also there that's why Kumda cross coupling reactions are used in lessly okay so uh, over than Kumda cross coupling reaction uh, as an, uh, other reagents are better to react with uh, uh, like a uh, new formation of CC single bond reaction okay this is the overall uh, simple description about a uh, Kumda cross coupling reaction now let us discuss the like a uh, catalytical cyclization mechanism pathway Now the general uh, representation of catalytical mechanism here it is a palladium L4 this is the simplest ligand okay tetra coordinated so after the dissociation of two moles of ligand it, it appears like a palladium L2 palladium L2 so then the addition of alkyl halide over there then it forms the oxidative addition product so here L2 so in previous case also we have not discussed the cis trans isomerism that's why we have discussed here cis to trans isomerization palladium ligand ligand here r x r x so after the palladium r x now we use the grignard reagent r m g x so here alkyl group or aryl group or organic group which is connected to the magnesium so now here the magnesium attached organic group transferred to the palladium that means a transmetallation that, that step is called transmetallation so now here organic group transferred from magnesium to palladium now here these mgx uh, uh, will absorb the uh, like halides then it is eliminated as mgx2 so if both groups are same mgx2 both groups are different mgx and x dash okay if both are different okay now we will get the palladium l l okay 
now here taladium l l here it is the r dash here it is the r here it is the r dash r okay now after this is trans isomerization now in previous cases is trans now here trans to cis isomerization now we will get the palladium r r dash ligand ligand so finally we will get the reductive elimination r to r dash product now our catalyst will be regenerated our catalyst also will be regenerated this is the simplest mechanism of kumuda cross coupling reaction kumuda cross coupling reaction not only palladium nickel will also gives the uh, like a, a Kumuda cross coupling, palladium or nickel. So here, instead of palladium, we used the nickel, we will get the product. Okay. So now, interesting thing is here, the instead of palladium, nickel is gives very uh, effective uh, percentage of yield in case of Kumuda cross coupling reaction. Now, however, the reactivity of halides with respect to two metals are varied. Okay. Now, the reactivity of halides. So in presence of palladium, the reactivity like this, iodine greater than bromine greater than chlorine. But uh, in the same case, we use it in, like nickel catalyst, the reactivity order like this. Okay, chlorine greater than iodine greater than bromine. Why? Because nickel which readily forms the nickel chloride complexes. That's why, so in case of nickel, so here the reactivity order of uh, halides will be different. Okay, so this is the major uh, uh, differ uh, differentiation other other palladium catalyzed reaction. So we are also used the palladium or nickel catalyzed reaction that is a Degeshi coupling. Okay, but here it is the like a uh, reactivity of halides will be changed. The reactivity of halides will be changed. Now let us discuss some of the examples. Now why they are uh, differentiated? Now the general reaction here it is the like a, a styrenyl compound here it having the like two types of fluorides so now we use the r dash mgx any type of reagent either phenyl groups or whatever the group okay so now let us use the two types of catalyst here r dash mgx so in presence of palladium pph3 four times okay now here we use it some reflex conditions uh, at uh, more than room temperature more than room temperature that is greater than room temperature now in presence of uh, like a uh, grignard re sorry grignard reagent with a uh, nickel catalyst nickel cl2 dppf dppf we are uh, know that uh, the name of the dppf okay now here at room temperature that means uh, below 25 degree centigrade temperature without a reflection we will get the product very effectively okay so that is the major advantage of nickel catalyst now in both the cases we used uh, two equivalents of grignard that's why it replaces both the groups now here it is also r dash r dash now here also we will get the same type of a product but uh, the effectiveness of the catalyst will be more when compared to the palladium so the effectiveness of a nickel catalyst will be more effective which gives the more percentage of yield when compared to the palladium again the conditions are also uh, like favorable for the nickel catalyst okay so this is the uh, like a kumda cross coupling catalyst like either a nickel catalyzer or a palladium catalyzed kumda cross coupling reaction now let us discuss some of the problems regarding to the kumda cross coupling reaction now we will solve the some of the problems regarding to the kumda cross coupling reaction Okay, now the first problem here the Grignard reagent with a uh, uh, like a organic halide compounds so will use the product like this. Okay, here it is the R compound, here it is the R dash. Let us assume. So now in between them here it creates the new CC single bond. So now it is eliminated MgBrCl as a byproduct. So this is the first uh, first product. Now let us discuss the second one. Very easier reaction. Now here it is the like let us assume the, it is the uh, organic halides. Okay here it is the organic halide that is R group so which connected to the like uh, organic group that is a Grignard reagent that is a Grignard reagent so simply we will get the trans compound that is a trans stilbene trans stilbene as a major product so in presence of a nickel catalyst here also nickel catalyst okay in third case so here all the all the type of reaction it retains in the configuration now here it is a, like a C6H13 so here allogen here it creates the new CC single bond with uh, our reagent so this is the product this is the product now in this fourth case it is a very important reaction so now here we use the more more number of equivalents uh, like 3.5 equivalents of uh, thionyl bromide okay now here it uh, it's not a uh, uh, sorry not thionyl thiophene bromide okay here uh, it gives the like a uh, tri substituted benzene okay tri thiophene substituted benzene
this is the product okay in this case uh, fourth example we will get the, the product now finally palladium catalyzed reaction palladium cl2 dpp yes okay now these uh, this case so same simple reaction here it is the uh, like a uh, r group uh, which is connected to the r group now grignard reagent will attack over there now in this in this method also we will prepare the like a biaryl compounds okay these are the very easier examples regarding to the kumda cross coupling reaction okay thank you for watching